Please welcome the former Secretary of Defense and Director of the CIA, Leon Panetta. At this hour, in some very dangerous corners of the world, young Americans are standing guard. Our brave military and intelligence professionals are on the front lines, far from home, risking their lives for us, for our freedom, for our way of life. A president, a commander-in-chief, has no greater responsibility, no greater responsibility than the decision to send our troops into harm's way. I have worked alongside nine presidents, Republican and Democrat, all experienced, all believing in the U.S. role in world leadership. And I can tell you this, that in this election, there is only one candidate for president who has the experience, the temperament, and the judgment to be commander-in-chief, and that's Hillary Clinton. This is no time. This is no time to gamble with our future. America faces flashpoints and threats from around the globe. We need a president who's strong and smart and courageous, who enters the Oval Office with the respect of the generals and admirals who lead our military, with the confidence of diplomats who represent America, and with the trust of our troops who know that she will always have their back. That president is Hillary Clinton. During my time as CIA Director and Secretary of Defense, Hillary was a strong supporter of our efforts to protect our homeland, to decimate Al-Qaeda, and to bring Osama bin Laden to justice. It was a tough decision to go after bin Laden. In long meetings in the White House Situation Room, we debated that fateful decision. I presented the intelligence to the President and to others, laying out the risks of that operation. And when the President went around the table to our country's national security leadership, there were concerns. But Hillary was clear, we have to go after bin Laden. And our special operations forces, God bless them, did just that. And they sent a clear message to the world that no one attacks the United States of America and gets away with it. <laughs> Hillary is just as determined to defeat those who threaten us today. ISIS, Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, Al-Shabaab, terrorists who pervert the teachings of Islam to kill innocent people going about their daily lives, people traveling through airports in Brussels and Istanbul, families celebrating on the beachfront in France, men and women shopping in a market in Baghdad. And just this week, an 85-year-old priest whose throat was slit by terrorists who stormed his church during mass. These murderers must be stopped.
Hillary Clinton is the only candidate who has laid out a comprehensive plan to defeat and to destroy ISIS and keep America safe. She is smart, she is principled, she is tough, and she is ready. <laughs> Hillary Clinton is the single most experienced and prepared person who has ever run for President of the United States. And meanwhile, meanwhile, Donald Trump says he gets his foreign policy experience from watching TV and running the Miss Universe pageant. If only, if only it were funny, but it is deadly serious. Donald Trump asks our troops to commit war crimes endorses torture, spurns our allies from Europe to Asia, suggests that countries have nuclear weapons, and he praises dictators from Saddam Hussein to Vladimir Putin. Today, Today, only today, only today, let me, let me point out something that just happened today. Donald Trump today once again took Russia's side. He asked the Russians to interfere in American politics. Think about that. Think about that for a moment. Donald Trump, who wants to be president of the United States, is asking one of our adversaries to engage in hacking or intelligence efforts against the United States of America to affect an election. As someone who was responsible for protecting our nation from cyber attacks. It is inconceivable to me that any presidential candidate would be that irresponsible. I say this out of a firm concern for the future of my children and my grandchildren. Donald Trump cannot be become our Commander-in-Chief. In an unstable world, in an unstable world, we cannot afford unstable leadership. We cannot afford someone who believes America should withdraw from the world threatens our international treaties and violates our moral principles. We cannot afford an erratic finger on our nuclear weapons. This, this is no time to roll the dice and to gamble with America's national security or with the American dream. No time. I've lived I've lived that American dream. My parents were immigrants from Italy. They came through Ellis Island. They made their way to California. They opened a restaurant in Monterey. I can still remember standing on a chair in the back of that restaurant, washing glasses. Never could my immigrant parents have dreamed that their son would grow up to be Secretary of Defense of the most powerful military in the world. The American dream,
The American dream. The American dream, the American dream that we've all been a part of has been defended in every generation by the brave men and women willing to fight and die for America. They are our greatest national treasure. And they deserve a serious commander in chief. If we care about them, if we care about our security, if we care about our freedoms, if we care about the American dream, there is only one choice, Hillary Clinton for President of the United States. God bless you and God bless our nation.